welcome to episode three of our Road to the U.S. Open series. It's turned from a disaster to the score hole now. Ooh, that was close, guys. Just a tad heavy. We can get a couple under, one under. I'll be happy. The game feels pretty good. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to beautiful Columbia Country Club, host site of the 2022 US Open Qualifier, where I'll be playing. Guys, I'm excited to get out there, play a practice round, get the game warmed up and ready to go for next week, do some recon, um, and bring, bring you guys along for that journey. So, without further ado, let's go, let's go get a practice round in, let's get some work in, and let's have some fun. And yes, to get it out of the way, I got a mustache, the rally stash. So, we'll see you guys on the first tee. All right, since today's a practice round, there will be no score kept except the last three holes on each side. So Dr. Morris Pickens, uh, sports psychologist, told me or kind of instilled in me that, hey, make a practice round, a practice round, except have three holes on each side that you go through your routines, that after the round that you can assess, like, hey, how was my targeting? How was my routines? How my actual golf game was? So we're, when we're going to assess how the game is today, we're mainly going to look at those la those six holes um, because, again, that's going to be more simulated tournament. But today's going to be fun. It's a beautiful day, and we got Caddy Master Supreme. Jeff Day, he will be catting for me on Thursday. We go way back. Also, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, subscribe. You don't want to miss because next next week we will have the U.S. Open qualifier brought to you guys to see whether I get through or not. So subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss that. Also, have many more fun things coming throughout this year. Let's go. That's very nice. Right to left there. God. Oh, the week off. So two things that I've noted uh, for today's practice round. One, the wind direction. So today's blowing a northwest out of the northwest, and so I had that jotted down in the yardage book. Number two, the bunkers are kind of iffy. So normally bunker game is my strength. Well, the bunkers out here, it's always going to be questionable, as you saw with those two shots there. The lies can be very unpredictable. So I'll have that noted and jotted down in my yardage book to say, hey, this bunker's good, this bunker's not. And right now I have the wind. So all those things are going to be in my memory banks and should help me out come next week. All right, everyone, meet Jeff Day. He is a Columbia Country Club specialist. Hello. Actually, no, there's nothing special about him, but <laughs> he's taken lessons from my dad uh, for many years. He's one of my good buddies, and he's always caddies for me here at Columbia. The vibes are always high, so really pumped to have him on the bag next week. So Jeff Day, everyone, give him a, give him a fist pump. Let's go. Also, it's really sad in practice rounds. You know, you have a good look at birdie, but we're going to stick to the plan. We're just going to hit some uh, cross-country putts here. All right, guys, I'm excited to announce that Mack Weldon has come alongside us and sponsored episode three of the Road to the U.S. Open. And I'm super pumped to have them back on the channel because their gear on the golf course is amazing, but off the golf course, it's really amazing as well. So on the golf course, the Maverick Tech Chino shorts are perfect because I've got long legs and it's, I struggle to find shorts that are the perfect fit, and these are it. They're not too long, they're not too short, they're just right. Also, the material super stretchy, water resistant, which, <laughs> which comes in clutch for me, uh, as you guys know. But the thing I like most is this little pocket right here on the side is perfect for putting golf balls, ball markers, etc., um, and even your phone. Now, I'm not gonna say these shorts are gonna make you hit it further, 
but why take the risk and find out by not wearing them? And off the golf course, we have the Atlas Jogger, which are trendy and stylish, and then we have the Ace Sweatpant, which are insanely comfortable, but also classy enough to stroll around town or go to the store. And now if you want 20% off your first order, visit MacWeldon.com slash BrianBrosGolf and enter promo code BrianBrosGolf. So now let's get back to the action. Let's get back to the US Open prep. Let's go. All right, guys, now it's game time. We're approaching hole seven, seven, eight, nine, keeping score. So hopefully the goal today, seven, eight, nine, 16, 17, 18, if we can get a couple under, one under, I'll be happy. The game feels pretty good. I took last week off, feeling Wesley the Heritage, but now we're back. Holes, seven, eight, nine, coming right up. Let's go. break here. This turned in from a disaster to the score hole now. Sorry, I just, I, that was close. Ooh, that was close, guys. Just a tad heavy. But hey, we got a look at birdie. It's not bad. The green, everything wants to go down that way. Yeah, I, can, I like that. You can definitely see that. I whiffed it. I don't. Saucy there. Always player B. Always. So the first one, obviously not great, but the second one, I hit that really well, and the ball was above my feet, went right to left, and I'm hitting a fade, but I think I'm gonna, like, in a tournament next week, if I have a right to left sloping lie, I need to really try to hit a cut, because that last one I tried to hit a big cut, and as you guys saw, a slight fade. So that's... <sighs> That's that's noted. That's a good press. What press are for? We we take these middle notes of swings or uh, thoughts and um, take it to next week. You gotta, gotta get this in to inside right, firm. I mean, just automatic. I like the ball flight, I like the play. What we had to do? Yeah, it's not. All right. Ooh! That's such a good swing, it's just. God, you hit that good. No. It's cutting back. That's, that's a little spinnier, but yeah, that's not good. I, gonna... so this, this, I think it's definitely a play. I like that first one. Choke down a lot and just rotate. This is the nine? Yeah. 145 shot. It's similar to the shot you had on nine, except not as long. Yeah. Now the wind just crushed that one. Wow. <laughs> Well guys, how are we doing? It's been a minute since we checked in. The key for practice rounds for me 
as you're, you're seeing it right now, I'm, I'm going to locations where I think pins are going to be and hitting putts from the optimal side, the uphill side, the uphill putt, because that's where we're trying to leave it. Now we do hit some from like super downhill and out of position, but for the most part, we're finding the uphill straight putts to really like hone that in and like give us confidence that, that that's where we want to be on each and every hole. Now, just a couple more holes until we see you guys again to we're back under the gun. Holes 16, 17, and 18 to close this thing out to hopefully get red figures. Like that? How good is that? That was perfect. There is a lot of sand in these bunkers, huh? Also, we're changing it up. We're gonna start on the last four holes here on the back nine because the par five, and why would you not want to start uh, the score holes on a par five? So, hole 15, par five, coming right up. It'll be right, left, right, so. Let's send it. He's peeling it off the left side of the fairway back to the center. It's not like that. There. Just that might have been the right best there. driver swing today. That probably had it equal out the straight, didn't it? Right, left side of the fairway. All right, here we go. We've got 240 right to left wind. So, if you hit a cut hybrid up into it, it should be the good distance if I hit it properly. You have? You had one, 160. And you had to hit what? Seven? I, mean, I just hit eight iron to like 20, 10 yards short. Yeah, that's just the crazy thing about wind and swirling. Like on on weather channel, it should be dead downwind, dead downwind. So 160 turns into like a 150 shot. And I was like, ah, full nine iron. But it's into the wind, which turns into about a 175 shot. <sighs> I'm so short. So I went with what it should be instead of what I felt. Anyway, just go up and down, make par. Right shot, just just carried it a little too far. Yeah. Oh. I played it. Uh, I played it out here. It was a bad bogey. Just all wind right there. That's all it was. Back on the right level. Fine. I don't mind like that. How was the strike? Okay. Yeah, I'd say way above average. Not great, but above average. Patient on the backswing, just like me and Jeff were talking about. Alright, let's so get through right here. Watch par. Watch. Yes. That's a big putt. Big putt, JD. Well, guys, 
That is a wrap from here at Columbia Country Club. The next time I'll be here, I'll be teaming up in the 2022 US Open qualifier. Whew, I'm excited. Overall, it was fun to get back here. It was good to play a practice round. It was good uh, that I broke my last hole to shoot one under par on the uh, seven holes I kept score because it gave me a good indication of how I think my game can be or is right now, but also it gives me a lot of encouragement for where my game could be next week. But honestly, other than the chipping, my game felt good. The one thing I'm gonna work on the next week though is my chipping. Now, hopefully I don't have to use it a lot next week, but I do want to be, or I do want to feel confident when I miss a green that I can easily get up and down or even, heck, even chip in. So really the same things that we're going to keep working on, driving, putting, now we're going to add a chipping and make sure I get a few workouts in between now and, and the qualifier. Other than that, just going to make sure that my mental game is good, that I'm confident that I, that I really have a good game, game plan. Guys, I'm ready. I'm excited uh, to bring you guys along this journey. We got one more round, one more video. Actually, no, hopefully two more videos, the second stage and then the, the US Open. So subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next week. Columbia Country Club, let's go. Oh yeah, one more thing. As far as like practice rounds go, really don't put stock in how you're hitting in a practice round. So for me today, I might hit some bad shots, but overall the, my main goal for playing a practice round is just get information on the golf course. That's it. I'm not worried about how I hit it, how good I'm hitting it, how bad I'm hitting it, all the hooks, slices. No, I'm just trying to see the golf course, get a game plan in place, and then uh, be ready to go term time. So that's what we did. So anyway, guys, we'll see you later. Let's go.